And 374, Nick Cantor, so excited to be on the pole that uh, he didn't go across the stripe to test the transponder. So a quick run. No, we're not DQ or anything like that. Just run across the stripe there to check the transponder. Little hold up, Mr. <laughs> Joe Bird. Buzzing on the internet now, I tell you what. Uh, Check one, two. Folks following that on the race. Oh, uh, yeah. So, folks, uh, you just witnessed the drama of qualifying here. Unbelievable things happen at any moment of this racetrack. And like I said, who thought qualifying was going to be boring? So we got the Thunder Cars, which are never boring. They're on the racetrack now for their main event. Then we got the Dash for Cash for the Outlaw figure eights top 10 and in qualifying including yes that 5 and 29 that you just watched duel it out for the track record and then at the end of the night we cap it off with the 420 the ford I almost i think i said four but the ford figure eight 25 lap feature after that qualifying session i think we're in for a treat tomorrow night oh for sure i mean, I mean we always are here at the speed yep. drone but even more so. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so you heard Tori give the starting lineup. And we have one that has not left the port. So not sure what's going on with this machine. However, Number 65, getting pushed away, Bill Whitley. There we go, just needed, I, I guess, a bump start. I don't know if these cars are stick shift or automatic, but we'll be waiting to go here shortly. Real quick question for you, Tommy. Yes, please. What kind of cars are these generally? So these are like Chevy Caprice or like we've seen Chevy Monte Carlos, namely one right here. Or close to it so these are uh, basically like a bomber class here we go we're green <laughs> 25 lap thundercar feature three wide down the back straight away and your leader right now the 374 Nick Carter, your leader in that autism awareness ride. Battle down the back straightaway. This is a battle for fifth. The 12 machine of Riddle. Losing a spot to the 274. Nate Cantor, who is the current points leader in the Thundercar division. Here we go for second spot. There's another canter. It's Brian Cantor in the 174 trying to hold off the 34 of Joe Gonder for the second spot. So the Cantor family, loud and proud in this Thundercar division. One, two on the board. Nick Cantor, Brian Cantor. Trying to keep that 34 of Joe Gonder behind. Gonder doing a great job in the 34. Holding his own on the outside. But you can see the 28 of EJ Neese. Slowly making time, however, in front of him. Brian Cantor slows down. And that'll allow the 34 of Gonder to move his way forward again. Lap traffic approaching. Ahead of your leaders, lap traffic. Turns number one and two. 38 of Joseph Bird and the 65 of Bill Whitley in front of your leaders holding them up. Three wide. And around is Whitley, and more contact coming in. 
the Speed Drum Yellow in turn number two. And we go red, not only for that problem over here, but down the back straightaway, 36 machine. In the wall, Dale Harper. Looks like he possibly lost, I believe he lost the tire. And then got the wall, but here is the 374, your leader up until turn number two. So pulling it off the track, bad luck continues. You can see not too happy. I was talking to him earlier in the pit area, Nate Cantor said he was just full of bad luck in 2019 and it looks to continue again. Lap traffic, always something to keep an eye on on this tight one-fifth of a mile oval. And Whitley, for the second time tonight, it's gonna have to get a push. Do you wanna check out that replay quick? Please. Taking a look at the replay here. Look at that fancy transition. So here you see Whitley in the 65 trying to get around the 38. And there's your leaders behind. They decide to split lap traffic and it did not work for Cantor down low. And that's when we stack the rest in. You can see damage there. For the 374, wonder if possibly a radiator or something else right there when they were hooked, maybe bumpers got involved and poked a hole in the radiator. I don't know, but Nate Cantor, sorry, Nate, he's in the pits. Horrible time right now to be a Nate, unless you're Nate over. He's just showing you a replay though. Quite a few cars making contact there. And then to the left of the screen that no one saw, I believe Harper blew a tire coming out of two and lost control and in the wall he went. He came to a grinding stop on the back straightaway. Now I could be wrong, he could have uh, had some contact just before it and broke something in the right front. So uh, kind of tail of the tape so far tonight, cleanup continues in turn number one. the best to clean up. Well, there goes Kevin Garrigus's kitty litter budget for the month. Bad news is when we start running out, he starts raining his mom's good towels and start bringing them out. There we go. I'm trying to think about presents now. We had uh, Harper losing the tire, but possibly they might be able to get it in and get it fixed. He'll be able to come back out and rejoin the field. Dale Harper, former champion of the division. Right after this, dash for cash, and then wrap it up with the Ford figure eight. Dash for cash, and then the Ford figure eight.
Oh, again, schedule events for tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Pit gates open at 2.30. Spectator gates at 3.30, and that's when practice gets underway. They go practice with the various classes, Ford figure eights. The, the front wheel drives. Now, keep in mind, that's under pro comp rules, so look for a lot of visitors coming in from other tracks for that uh, pro comp style front wheel drive figure eight feature. And, of course, the uh, spring shootout practice in there as well. And then at 7 o'clock, we go racing. Heat races for the Fords and the front wheel drives. And the Ford Oval feature, the front wheel drive figure eight feature, the Ford figure eight feature, and wrap it up with a 90-minute shootout. If needed, if Mother Nature decides to dump on us, we open pig gates at 11, spectator gates at noon, and racing at 2. So, but... Uh, Last word I got, we shouldn't have to sweat it. There'll be some rain in the morning. It's going to ruin everybody who goes down for that mini marathon. Sorry about your luck. I used to be one of those guys who always wanted to sit down there with a couple of beers and some carton of Marlboros. But uh, Again, car is eligible for the shootout. The dash for cash. In the quick qualifier was Jeremy Vanderhoof coming in at a 16.384. Ninth quick was Chris Harmon in the number six. Oh, then Sheffield Shackelford in the 28. Van Meter in the 23. John Connor Jr. in the 43. Jesse Tunney in the one. Calvin Crane in the C4. 3T of Mark Tunney is in, as is, of course, your new track record holder for a little bit, John, Tommy St. John. And then, of course, fast qualifier, Ben Tunney, 15870, new track record. A very, very anxious Joe Gonder Jr. Trying to get a jump on things. All right, we're going to try this one again. The field's slumming down. But uh, we've had a great race up front. So we're going to see here as a 34. The Lone Ranger to the outside, bringing the field to the green. Joe Gonder is not going to get the green. But it was a practice run for me. I pretended like we went green. Uh, and the drivers are ready, too. All right, attempt number two. Joe Gonder and the number 34 coming to the green. Hey, guess what? No green. All right. I'm two, I'm two in now. Same with the racers. We're all excited. 16 laps to go. For this 25 lap race. So should I try it again? Here we go. Number 34, Joe Gonder coming to the green. Hey, it worked. The 34 Gonder out front, EJ Neat in the 28 in the second spot. And that zero machine really working that inside groove. We had two canters up front, now we got two canters in fifth. That's moved to zero of Jeff Heron. Up, oh, but he goes around turn number three. And now it's back to the canter. But EJ Neat slowly, oh boy, oh boy. What's going on here? I think he's on a sting operation. I think he's, I think he's hunting. Oh boy, well, I'll keep my eyes cross sides just to watch that zero. Here's your top two on the screen right now. EJ Neat to 28. Closing in on Joe Gonder and his number 34. And they're both closing in on lap traffic. That'll be the number 38 of Bird. He's just gonna peel it off into the infield. And here's your current points lead of the 274. Closing in on both of them, Nate Cantor. Reeling in your top two. And the zero is still going crazy. <laughs> He's looking for trouble right now. 
I think he's destined to make sure that any canter will not win. And Nate is uh, on a mission. And I, I clarify, I called Nate Cantor in the other, in the 374, that was actually Nick Cantor, so that's my bad. Nate Cantor is in third. And there's your top three. Neat in the middle. Joe Condor in the lead. Six laps to go. Here comes Nate. Bumper to bumper to bumper. Joe Gonder. Better get moving here because EJ Neat's going to knock that bumper off. Trying to get up to the lead. Four to go. It looks like Gonder's starting to drive away from the 28 of Neat. More lap traffic ahead. We've seen how lap traffic can be treacherous. Harper stays low for your leaders. Closing in on Riddle and the number 12. White flag. One more to go. Is Neat going to apply the bumper? The bump and run? Riddle's gonna hold his lane. Gonder down low, contact with lap traffic and to the checker. Joe Gonder holds on. And spins it out for good, good measure. So icing on the donut there for Joe Gonder after almost losing it in the final sets of corners. So props to Joe Gonder for putting himself in position to win it. He was the lone ranger on the outside earlier in this race, trying to fight to the low groove. Calamity in front of him with your leaders. Nick Cantor in the bunch. And that will, that did inherit the lead for the 34 of Joe Gonder. And from that restart, never looked back. Almost lost it on the last two corners. But there you see him doing his Polish victory lap with the checkered flag.